Sadly, we don't have Optifine, so my computer won't run that well, but I was just messing around, and, uh, and this and I uh, realized how freaking awesome the big ones are. Because, one, they have a more realistic trading system than the uh, villagers. You actually have to give them the item physically, and not, like, to get. And they also hunt their prey, which makes it utterly fascinating and a great way to design a civilization, especially in Minecraft. So beautiful. So, what would the civilization of piglins look like? Well, one, let's see what an average day looks like for a piglin would be. So, piglins would be wandering around. But they obviously have tools, so I mean they obviously have this. Hmm. What button was this? Come on. What button did I choose? Well, they would obviously have, well, well, obviously speaking, they would have anything crimson big. So, they would obviously have these stems. They would probably use these and slabs. Alright, so, obviously speaking, these is kind of the block palette that they, the block pieces they would use. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to use this knowledge of what a p piglin life would be like to try to build what a piglin city could look like. So, one, a piglin city would want... Since they are, since there's less building material in the nether, I would also say that they would probably use anilium and netherrack. Like so. So, let's see. So, one. So, let's build the uh, an average piglin hut. Okay, so, the huts would definitely have, like, logs in the walls. It would look a lot more rough. But, it does seem that they have the me metallurgy and things like that. So, they would have much better tools. Like so, see this, that. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to pop these walls out a bit in certain spots like this. And, if they, the gas, due to them being a dangerous monster in this game, they would need gas protection bases. See, look at this. This is kind of... What, it, what a piglin shack might look like. Put this. So then we're gonna put a block here. Or that don't, they won't have, wouldn't have fire. So we're gonna build this shack like so. Gonna add some stems just randomly placed in the walls. Because I mean, it's obviously a dangerous place in the nether, so it's more of an outpost. So this would be like a small, simple shack you would have for a piglin, right? Let's add some slabs on the floor, like this. Let's, uh, put, um, let's make the roof a little bit higher, so like this. Oh, come on. Hopefully they make it so that there are piglin tribes that actually have, like, different types of piglin. That would, and that would make so interesting. Like, the different piglin peoples could have wars and such, right? So, look. Here's this. They're a more hunter-gatherer, even though they are very, have lots of tools, which is kind of an interesting situation. Most life on the planet, most, I would say intelligent life, would have stuff, well, to have mostly, um, tool, would, that have tools would be less hunter-gatherer, but, I mean, they do what they gotta do. I mean, it is a violent environment. The world is a dangerous place in the nether, so. And definitely shroom lights, right? Think about it. So they would use shroom light, shroom, shroom lights for, uh, because it's scary, right? Because they need to light up their homes, so they would probably use shroom light. Hmm. So then we're going to set this, we're even going to put a campfire inside, because, I mean, why not? Look, look at this, this is a kind of, maybe a piglin hut, so let's put a, um, little, uh, well, she can't campfire. So yeah, just so we could have a wait. Oh wait, I could do this. So it looks like they have um, a chin. So look, there you are. We're gonna have the chimney blocked up. Perfect. Look at this little piglin hut. So. So look at this. This would be like a piglin house, right? 
Let's add a um, little, uh, not a table, because they wouldn't really have tables, right? <coughs> They're much more militaristic. But actually, when I think about it, like we could have like a little counter like this, and we're gonna just make it kind of look realistic. So. And they wouldn't really cook with uh, like um other food sources. They most likely would cook with uh, I don't know what they would cook with. But there is like a little piglin hut, okay? And we're gonna put like a gold block in there, gold, because they worship gold basically. Right, right. If you can keep up to date, Let's see. they worship gold. So, logically speaking, the richest, like they might have a gold block here and there. But I, but I'm not gonna give this one a gold block because this is gonna be like a um, little house. So this is what a little house. Would be like. But based on the environment of the Nether, there are lots of gas. So. Logically speaking, why would the piglins just have a gas come in and blow up them, kill and kill them really quickly? No, 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 no. That actually might be another reason why they're so uh, nomadic, as of yet. But they could have little gas perfect protection bunkers, like so, like like this, and then they could hide hide it with more. Let me just put this here. So. As far as we can go that way. Alright guys, I'm, I messed up on that little bunker. Uh, that's not bad, right? But, uh, so we're gonna build the bunker over here. I used TNT. I was trying to make it so it looked like more like a cave, but, uh, that didn't, it didn't work out so well. So I'm gonna use, instead of all the TNT I used, I'm gonna just use a little bit less. Like so, and I'm gonna break that last block right there, and that would be our TNT. Perfect. And that will be where our bunker is. We'll make the floor a little flatter. And my computer's lagging, so perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to now add this. This cute little floor. A netherite floor. A netherrack floor. Like so, and this would be like a little uh Safe hut from a uh, gas bombing, gas attacks, because they they don't want to be they wouldn't want to be beaten up by gas, right? And then like so, look, boom, and now we could make it so that there's a little bit of uh, an entrance, like so. Is TNT like powers up like by a lot? Because this is unholy. So. And, um, this would be like a little bunker. Look at this. There we go. We put, uh, some Nillium Crimson Stems in here somehow. Oh, oh, okay, so. So, watch. So, what we could do is that the stems would go like this. Like, a, um, like a little bit of a rooftop. little bit of a roof here. Look at this. Perfect. That's not a good spot. Okay, right there with my Like that. Kind of looks like they've uh, intentionally set it up in such a way where they will have like safety. <clears throat> and then we put the lights in. Just carve out a little chunk there. And, um. <clears throat> build a cute little table, too, so we're gonna place the. Not a table, but, um. So there we go. That would be like a little, uh, safety protection against a gas bomb. The gas wouldn't be able to burn the, uh. The wood. The nilium, because. This block? Because, um. It's actually quite interesting. They can't burn it. So, we're, this city's turning out pretty well. Look at this. So you got your uh, piglins, and then so these are your hoglins, and since the, pig, the piglins hunt those hoglins, we are going to build a hoglin fortress, a hoglin farm, and the hoglins, the hoglins, which interesting is that they um feed off of uh, what was it, the crimson stuff. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get rid of all the TNT. And 
type in fence. So we're going to get a crimson fence and a crimson gate, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there you go. Then what we're going to use is, um, I think it would be warped fungi to keep them from attacking the, vi the um, since these guys don't like crimson honey. Look. They punk. Hey, look, they run away from it. Right, right, you see where I'm going? So look. But the piglin, pe the piglin <laughs> peoples are fine with the warped fungi. Okay? So, what I'm thinking is, is that they have a little gate. And, uh, let me put that there and put this in there. I'll just build the, ramp, the fence gate. Well, the pit, and also, okay, when we're designing the, like, the prisons and stuff like that, I know one thing about the piglins. They hate soul fire. Okay? So, the, right? And this is obviously a very militaristic and dictatorship-like society, okay? So the piglins would have a little entrance here, but then it would be have warped fungi on the gate to enter. Now, what I'm gonna do is get a um, spawn egg on, okay, fox, piglin, hoglin. There's the hoglins. There we go. And the hoglins, since they are so scared of this, of the warped fungi, the piglins would walk in and they, they would be able to say, hey, it's not that bad. They walk through, they kill one of them, and then they, and if it gets to go south, they just run out like, oh god, right? They would run away from the pit hoglins, and then they'd be safe behind the behind this, allowing the farm to run, because they can't open gates yet. So, oh look, there's a hog, there's a piglin over there. They already are moving in. They like it here. Look, so this is obviously how they could like pull. Like I'm pulled the hoglin. Okay, I feel like that's a that's a little restricting. So we're gonna move the warp fungi fence to about here, to about here, so they can uh excuse the whole full extent of their uh, gate, their thing. But they won't get anywhere near this. But hey, guys. look, they don't like it, so. That's obviously what their little uh, thing would look like. But we're gonna give it some light, some light. Oh, and they would just have stream light, so. This, and they would have, like, a stream light here. I know there's no night in the nether, but. This is actually just for, um, like, mostly decoration purposes. Look, see. This is why you guys should farm! Ooh. Oh, what? Crap. I guess I can't really do it that way. But I guess I could- Oh wait! They're so big, I can get through one wide gate. Okay then. I just got fell into a hole of darkness. Yeah, I'm just gonna cover that up. But the hoglins would have to fight off- Would have to deal with the little gate thing. So there we are. And then we're gonna build, we're gonna build a, um, what should I build next? I think, you know what would be really useful in a society like this? They would need, they need gold iron somehow to make their tools, right? No, I don't think that would work. We're gonna assume that there's, a uh, like, uh, this stuff. There's somewhere in the nether there's iron that they can find. So what we're gonna make is a refinery. A so what? So we're gonna th we're gonna build this. No, no refinery. That wouldn't make sense. Oh, oh wait! I forgot. We need to make a um, another a um, farm. A a crimson fungi farm. To gather food for the piglins. Watch. 
<coughs> excuse me, for the hoglins so they can breed them. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna say that these guys like lava to to grow faster. Okay, we're just gonna say it. I know that's probably not tr that's not true, but since this place isn't based off of like water, it has to have some sort of lava. Oh, there we are. So look, this is like let's say this is like. Let's just say they require lava to make, to uh, grow this stuff, okay? And they farm lava. They use lava to farm material. Right? And this would be like a little, uh, a little farm, and they could, like, come over here and be like, breed, channels, breed. I guess they'll just don't have the growth and growing up animation. So yeah, that would be like a farm. Kind of like that. Look at that. Look at where that is. So yeah, you have your hoglins that go inside the cage. Get inside the cage. Come on, do you guys not have knockback? How do you get into the cage? Oh, you're out now. So there we go, guys. There it would be a simple, uh, this is part of our piglin village. We'll continue expanding this over time. So yeah. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed this episode of, uh, I don't know what I should call this. Well, I'll call it Piglin City.